episode of this Bournemouth career mode. Uh, I'm MGoth1200. Right, so let's get into this Leicester game. So now we are currently first. We have scored uh, eight goals and conceded none. So we've done very well so far. Welcome everybody, Alan Smith. Well, he's looked the manager. At right, what so they of need course we have Thomas Vermaal in making his debut today, and obviously we spent ten million on him. So. Um, yeah. I'm hoping that Sazako and Vermaelen will link up quite well because of their just the way they play. Because Vermaelen is fairly quick, and Sazako, obviously, we know is very quick. So, um, and they kind of complement each other as well. So, um, anyway, yeah, here's our lineup. Nothing's changed really, other than Vermaelen, who's wearing the number 18. Uh, I'm looking to see what Leicester's like. I'm really hoping they're going to miss out Vardy because obviously, we all know in real life his uh, amazing run and Mardi. Uh, Marty Vardy is on the bench, so uh, that's good to see. They've got Mares though, so that's we're gonna have to look out for him. Um, but yeah, let's let's get into the game. Here we go. Ooh. Who's that? Arter. Arter. Going far post. Oh, good save. There we go. Zaka. Nicely done. Was like a good uh, fullback with a l little bit of height and a little bit of jumping. It always helps. Here we go. Go on, Atsu. Here we go, Wilson. Wilson. Far post. Oh, what a shot. What a brilliant goal. Just, just got past the man, used his pace, just smashed it, top corner, far post. Just, Richie does so well to just pick out. And just oh, it just drags it from behind his feet, and it's gone. It, I think it hit the roof of the net. God, I couldn't hit that better if he tried. Oh no, sorry, side netting, side netting, but still. Just oh, what a beautiful goal. Well, Wilson's turned out to be so good so far. I'm so glad Bournemouth signed him last season. But yeah, that's his fourth goal in the Premier League. After that interception, and Richie, John Richie put. Put Wilson through. Oh, that's a great interception. Two of them there. Oh dear. Oh no, no. EA, you're seriously no, no. Oh, what a save, Boric. Nicely done. Go on, Boric. Nicely done. I haven't really seen much of Vermal in this game, but um, I suppose that's kind of good, but not really in a way. <laughs> oh, save, Boric. Nicely done. Close him down. Oh, and Boric again. Well done, Boric. There we go, Richie. Goodell, maybe? No, okay, Wilson. Go on, now Goodell. Here we go. Can he cut inside? Oh, that's a great challenge by Hooth. Right, let's get it to Mings if we can. Is it going to let me select Mings, maybe? Okay, nope. It's just going to spaz out and be fucking EA again. Right. Come on, Right, so something bad's happened now, guys. Unfortunately, my PlayStation ran out of space and it stopped recording. So, um, unfortunately, this is all I've got to show you off the uh, next bit of that game. Basically, we won 4-0 and Vermaelen got injured. I don't know how long for, but you're going to find out. Anyway, I'm so sorry, guys. Um, let's get into the next footage. Right, so now we have more training to do. And uh, let's hope it's going to be a good one. Okay, guys, so Kamara's gone up. Kamara got an A and then a G. That's okay. I take that and uh, Zaccolini and Mings aren't doing very well. So here we go, as you can see on the commentary in the background. We're first, we've got a two point lead over Man City. We've got 100% record, we still haven't been scored against. And uh, yeah, that's very interesting. If you Alright, so now we have an injury. The Marlin has, is going to be out for three weeks, so it's unfortunate really. We have been managing without him. Obviously he's, he's new to the club, so I'm hoping that we won't struggle. Anyway, let's get into the last bit of the transfer window on transfer deadline day. I'm not really sure it's going to account to much. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Look at that. Um, Hazard has gone to Barcelona. Muller has gone to Man City. And Pjanic has gone to Arsenal. That's a killing blow for for us, really, because if we're going to face Man City, they've got Muller as well as Aguero. And if we're against Arsenal, they've got Pjanic, who's a great playmaker in the midfield. So that's not good already. Um, but yeah, some other... Okore has gone to Leicester. We've already played, so that's good. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, we've spent 16.9 million so far. We have got... This is our budget for the transfer window, for the deadline day. 
and uh, it's 2.5 million and 16 grand in the budget so um i'm not sure i think i might save that and then put it towards the january transfer window because at the moment we're not struggling at all i don't see why we should spend money if we're winning if we've got 100 percent record already i know we haven't really been against any big teams other than liverpool so um i know we will struggle but i don't see why we should change anything yet uh, right so yeah now i'm just waiting for offers now quite happy with the team let's get through this deadline day and there you go man city have also bought bentaleb that's an interesting one Nothing's really happening in this transfer window. Arsenal have spent a lot this this transfer window, and actually they bought as well. We know Pjanic. They've actually bought Sanson and Timothy as well, accounting to forty-two million. Right there we go. So transfer window has ended and that deadline day was pretty shocking nothing really happened uh, for Bournemouth side of things so um, so yeah I think we're going to get straight into a squad report because it's the end of the transfer window we have Boric has actually gone up by one already nice stats in positioning and uh, reflexes and growth but um, as you can see yeah, he's played eight games and got five clean sheets so um, that's good to see uh, Sizako has started to grow as well uh, nice stats there uh, Thomas O'Marlin obviously injured now. Uh, Distan is declining a bit. That's unfortunate to see, but then again, he's 37. Mings has gone up by two, which is brilliant. Uh, really nice growth there. Uh, Atsu's gone up by one. Uh, Zaccolini's gone up by one. That's really good growth as well. His physical stats as well. That's un that's unlikely, but there you go. Jumping has gone up by two. Shin speed by two. Acceleration by one. Stamina by one. So they're all the key stats. That's good to see. Long pass has gone up by four. Heading accuracy has gone up by four. So that's good for Zuccolini. Uh, Harry Arta has nice growth as well. He's probably going to go up to 74 quite soon. Um, Gradel, okay growth really. Not much happening there. You wouldn't, you'd expect that for a 27 year old. Uh, Richie's gone up by one. Decent growth there. Uh, Wilson's gone up by one. And nice growth there. You're surprised to see his finishing go up actually. You would have you would have thought it would have been. But um, with the most of this type of goals he's been scoring so far. Uh, Glenn Murray declining. Don't really care about that. He's just a good decent backup. Um, Sermon is growing a bit as well. That's good to see at 29. Uh, Pew, no action there. Francis going up by two and marking and short pass. That's that's decent to see at 30 years old. It's not bad. Uh, Kamara's gone up by four already. Uh, so um, obviously our training is uh, taking a hit on him already. So uh, this is good. Uh, Smith, some growth there. Uh, King, some growth there. Costa, don't really know about you really, but. I'm not really bothered. You're probably not going to play for me at all unless both left backs get injured. Uh, Ranty's gone up by one, which is interesting. O'Kane gone up by one. Steve Cook, some growth there, so that's good to see. Uh, he's actually happy as well, which is uh, interesting. He has played five games, but only in the uh, uh, friendlies, so uh, I suppose that's what's making him happy at the moment. Uh, Bennett has gone up by one. Uh, Stanislas has gone up by one. Gosling has gone up by one, and there's no growth. That's weird. Uh, that's a bit odd, really. Uh, Elphick, no growth. Tomlin, a little bit of growth. Daniels, some growth. Federici, no growth. Stockley, some growth. Online at Portsmouth, obviously. Uh, Fraser, some growth. And Harry Cornick, some growth. Cargill, some growth. Butcher, who I'm looking at. I want to make sure that he actually succeeds. I want to make sure that... He gets to at least 75 rated by the end of this career mode, which would be nice. Um, Allsup hasn't grown at all, and we're back to the start, so yeah. Anyway, and player of the month is our Wilson. Excellent, so that's good to see. And uh, Okay, so that's interesting. Best 11 of the week, uh, Bournemouth, goalkeeper Borch, Distan, Gradle, Richie, and Wilson. So uh, that's great to see. Obviously, uh, You've got Rooney there, De Bruyne, Kelly, Phil Jones, Monre Monreal from Arsenal, and uh, yeah, some others. Nathan Redmond, that's a surprising one. Anyway, yeah. Right, that is going to be the end of the episode. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. It'd be great help. Also, if you could share these videos, I'm trying to get out there. So if you like what you see, please do share this. That'd be a great help to me. 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I've been MGOF1200, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.